All right, so this tutorial is for assignment number four in the uh, web design class. Um, basically, it's this one where you have to um, make a wireframe mock-up uh, for whatever your interest is. This is, uh, is going to be the largest project we do. Uh, we're going to make a bootstrap website. Uh, but this is entirely uh, just a graphic that you're going to produce. Um, uh, and submit okay so there's no actual HTML in this assignment it's just to make that that mock-up right that wireframe so um, first thing you need to do you know obviously read this read this uh, but right off the bat you want to download the grid because we're going to use that as a template to build up um, our bootstrap now this grid is actually for a different system but it still will work the same way because it has pre-made 12 columns uh, so it, it's it's it, it's formatted similarly so if you go to the 960 grid and click here I should probably add a link down there click the big old download button and you can save it and then uh, open that up and then just do extract extract all extract close that out and boom there it is okay so you just extract it and uh, we don't need any of these parts. All we need are the sketch sheet, or not the sketch sheets. That's if you want to do it by hand, but we're not doing that. The um, the templates, the templates. So I'm not going to require that you do it in Photoshop. I'm going to show you in Photoshop. But if you want to use Corel Draw or GIMP or Flash or one of these other um, things that you feel more comfortable with, go ahead and use those. Um, but I would suggest Photoshop just because that's the most general. Um, there's even one for InDesign. InDesign actually wouldn't be a bad choice either. But I'm going to go ahead and do Photoshop because more than likely. It's probably the one you're probably going to be using. We're going to use the 12, uh, 12 column grid. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to use this. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'll just open it up. So I'll just open it up and it's going to pop open Photoshop. I'm going to pause it while Photoshop opens up. Well, that was a bit faster than I thought it would be. Anyway, um, so you can see what it has is it has these grids. It has these, um, these ruler lines already, um, these guidelines already drawn and it's got this, uh, pink line. So I could turn, um, you know that off and I could go to view and turn off extras and that will get rid of those but basically it's just it put this in here and um, turn extras back on and it put these in here and basically uh, it's just 12 columns with the gutter in between which is the white space between each column what this allow me to do is I can basically use these and snap my different boxes uh, to each part of this okay um, so uh good we're good there so now what i want to do is uh, i'm going to make my web page if you will in this um first thing i would suggest doing is determining uh your colors so a good way of doing that is i'm gonna go here and uh God, i don't remember what it's called let me just look up adobe uh, adobe color cc should be good so where are you color adobe adobe cooler okay i'm just going to use this you can see the sites right up here it's a it's uh color.adobe.com okay and basically it'll allow you to create a color scheme uh using this stuff so i would just suggest um using something like this and i'm just going to use it as uh my way i'm going to go ahead and keep analogous and i'm going to do mine more in this orange range and then you can kind of wiggle these out and about so let's just I just don't want it quite so colorful. It's a little too bright for me, so I'm just trying to. Generally speaking, the more you go uh, far from your primary color, so I'm gonna call this like my primary color, uh, the more desaturated needs to be in order to match. Because you're gonna see, well, that's not too bad, but um, it might not work quite as well. So we're just gonna, you know, and I'll just ignore actually some of these. I'm thinking maybe these through these four here are what I'm going to use okay so now what I want you to do once you have your colors and you can use this or you can just eyeball it or come up with something yourself we're going to talk about color another time um, is uh, I want you to put these colors um, in Photoshop just want you to make swatches basically at the bottom here so that we know what they are so to do that uh, I'm just going to use my brush okay my paintbrush here and I'm just going to go ahead and make it all the way hard or actually we'll just do this one all the way hard and I'm gonna make a new layer above this background, okay? But underneath uh, the column grid, and I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger so I can see it, okay? And I'm just gonna put that color in there. So I'm gonna click on this, which is gonna make this pop up, 
And then in this case, uh, I need to punch. I'm going to punch in because it's easier to do it this way. 156, 250. Actually, we'll just do this. I'm just going to copy this hex here. So I'm just going to control C and go in here. And where's the hex? Right here. And I'm going to do control V. And there's the color. Hit OK. And I'm just going to go do, do, do like this. OK. And actually, I'm going to name this layer colors so I know what they are. All right. Um, let me see. Yeah, that's 100%. Okay. And I'm going to turn this off for right now, too. So I'm going to have the splotch there. And I'm also going to write down the the hex in there. So let me see. Console list is fine. Size is way too big. Let's do like 12 point font. And I want it to be black so I can actually see it. And I'm just going to write the. Actually, let's click off. Let's get rid of that. And I'm just going to make it. Get rid of there. I'm just going to make it centered and put it right in the center here. And I'm just going to hit Control V. I thought I still had that in there. Uh, let me. Okay, let's try that again. Control C. Control V. There it goes. And I kind of don't like the size of that. It's a little too small. Let's try 18. That's a little better. Okay. Good. Um, and is that right? Why is it? Oh, okay. That is it. I thought there'd be like a symbol in there. Okay. So that's the one color I want to use. All right. So then I'm just going to do the next thing again. I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to look at this one and I'm just going to copy this hex. Control C. Because we're going to use this hex when you actually go to uh, make your, when you actually go to use your website, you can just go ahead and copy and paste that in there. So I'm going to go ahead and use the brush again and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to type into my hex here. Control V. Boom. And so I got my brush. Oh, make sure you're on this one. And I'm just going to kind of put this one right next to there. And like so. Use my text tool again. And click in there. And control V. There we go. So there's the next one. And so on and so forth. So I'm going to go to this one. So you want anywhere from two to three, maybe even four colors. Um, I'm just doing these ones. I'll do, I'm going to do four just in case I want a fourth one. I probably won't actually need a fourth one. Got to click back over here. Back to the brush. Click on this for the color and paste that in there. Okay. And then I'm just going to draw a little swatch. Okay. Go back to the type tool again and make sure it's black so I can click right in the middle and hit control V because that's still in my clipboard. And then I'm going to do one more. We're going to grab this one. Control C. Five colors is probably a bit more than what you need um, depending on your site. I'm going to go back over here. And select this again, back to the brush, click on the swatch here, type in this, control V, okay, and draw a little dot, okay, and then go back to the type tool, click on this to change it to black, okay, click on here, and control V, okay. So now I got my colors kind of defined there. Um, the other thing I need to do is um, the what I want to use for text, okay. So uh, for that, I'm just going to go to my type tool here and you can kind of click down and see what looks good to you. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go like this and then try to choose something I think that looks not terrible. I wonder if they have like Roboto. That one's pretty. This can take some time. Um, OK, it's still going. I, OK. Let's see. This one looks okay. So, and I'm just going to write what the font is. I'll make this a bit bigger. Let's try doing like 36. Oops. Still on that one. Hang on a second. Let's uh, make a new layer here first. Okay. And two cent. And I'm going to go ahead and make that 36. And it's still black. And I'm just going to write what the font is. So, T W. Um, I'm going to make this left aligned so I don't have to. Okay, so T W C E N M T. Okay. So uh, that will be one. And then uh, click off on into a different tool, then back onto the text tool. And you're probably going to want two fonts. You're going to want one for your display font, uh, the one that's like your headings and stuff, and then one for your paragraphs. Okay. And generally, your display font's like the nice, pretty one, and your general one should be. Oops, still on that. Let's make a new layer first. Here we go. 
and your um, your uh, paragraph font should be relatively simple. So like like an Arial or something. I'm gonna do. I don't know what this one is. Bond shrift. Okay, and I'm clicking here, and I'm just gonna type out what it is. So bond. Yeah, see that's a little too close to my other one. I want something a little bit thinner. Um, duh, 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 duh. God, it's too. It's agency. Agents. Oh, you know why? Because it's actually stuck on bold right now. I didn't want bold. Regular. So a g c. That's really hard to read. Not a big fan of that. Um, God, I'm just gonna do Arial. I know it's not what you're supposed to do, but at least it'll work. I don't feel like spend all day. Oh, sorry. I should say Arial. All right. Um, good. So now I've got that and this. Okay. So this will be my um, my uh, kind of heading font, my display font, my title font, and this will be my paragraph is this Arial, and these are the colors that I'm going to generally choose, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pull this up here, and I'm going to click on this, I'm going to hold shift and click on this last one, all the ones in between, and I'm going to click on this folder to put them in a folder, and then not worry about that stupid thing. And I'm going to double click on there and rename it, I'm just going to call this um, uh, colors uh, fonts. Okay, colors fonts, and I just did a capital F for font, so it's camel case. Uh, good, so that'll be my colors fonts uh, section. Now, because um, if you look at the homework, one of the things that we wanted to do, I kind of got away from it here, um, is I want you to uh, have a basic color scheme incorporated and that you label them, right? So RGB hex or HSL, which is what I did, and... Um, you should also have at least two custom fonts with the names included, which is what I just did. Okay. Um, now is to actually make the, the business here. Oops, not that. All right. So let's go ahead and start laying out how I want it to be. So, uh, by default, um, I'm gonna make a new layer up here and I'm just going to call this one, you know, background, uh, oops, background, um, and I'm gonna have the background be uh, I don't know I'm gonna go funky I'm gonna go with this pink here so uh, I want that pink color so what I can do is I can hit I to sample it right click or you go to the eyedropper tool here so I got it sampled and then go to the paint bucket and I have background here and I'm just gonna paint and there it is okay and I'm actually gonna take these and put these above so I can still see it so we got background here uh, that's my background. It's going to be a really bright pink. Let's turn this back on so I kind of see it. You know what? That makes it kind of hard to see. So I'm going to choose a different one. Let's do I and we'll do this one. Okay. And uh, back to the paint bucket and we'll paint it like that. All right. That way I can still see my stripes. These are probably a bit bright for what I want. All right. Now uh, for the title, I'll use these uh, this color here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my type, type tool here. Okay. And I'm going to click on this. And I can just type in this number for the hex here. So it's um, E8604. E again. Okay. So now I got that color. All right. So there's the color that I want for that. And then uh, my title is supposed to be says TW. So I can just start citing TW um, uh, MT. I don't see that one. Just do bold. There it is. Okay, and uh, we'll make it, I don't know, 30 font, and then I'm just going to put in like a, what I think should be like the banner up here, and I'm going to skip in one, and I'm going to click, and notice that it's snapping to these guys, so I'm going to click and go like this, and I'm going to say I want it to be up in here, about this amount, and uh, just, I'm going to write cone production, or no, actually it's supposed to be a, an interest, right, so we'll say, um, video games because that's what you guys all like all right and i'm looking at it and i think that could be larger so let's try 48 oops grab it 48 boom okay so there we go let's take that and go back to the type pool here click back in there and i'm just gonna pull this up 
So that's what we're going to say is the title. Um, then what I'm going to do is make a nav bar. So I'm going to use uh, this and I'm going to make the nav bar this color. So I got my uh, tool here and um, I'm going to make a new layer above this one. Okay. Let's call this like nav nav bar color and I am going to uh, draw it's going to use this color here which I want to use this one so I'm hit I to sample this and then go back to my rectangle tool it might be one underneath one of these other ones just I'm using a rectangle here and I'm going to go over here and I'll have the nav bar you know maybe go in two and do right underneath it like this so two right there like that boom so there's that color and then uh, um and go ahead and put in like a mock nav bar and I guess I'm using Arial. So switch this to Arial. And I think we're just Arial regular. And it shouldn't be 48. We'll do like try 24. And I'm just gonna put in each box here um you know something. So it'll be home. Oops. It's still on uh still on that color so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make it black. Okay. So we'll say home. We'll do left alignment. Um, actually, let's do tab. There we go. And then we're going to do one of these straight lines, then tab. And we'll say about. No, that tab is inconsistent. So we'll do space, space. Space, space. It's a little better. Okay. No space space another uh, vertical bar base and then we'll say um, I don't know contact okay something like that and I'm just gonna use my move tool and move that over I'm just using the arrow keys after I selected it okay so bu -bu 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 bum so that's what we're gonna say uh, then I'm just gonna have a big old picture uh, in here okay so uh, I need to find a picture on the interwebs. So let's just go here and we'll say like um, gamer picture. Let's see what we get. Images. Uh, I need like, this will work. Let's use this. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm just going to right click and we're just going to, now obviously this isn't meant to be, you know, your final copy image. All right, and then I'm just going to do Control V to paste. There it is, right there. All right, and I'm thinking this would go right underneath that. And what I'm going to do is I want to uh, uh, free transform this. So you can hit Control T or Command T, or you go to Edit Free Transform. And I'm going to hold Shift. If you don't hold Shift, it's going to be like this. But if I hold Shift, it keeps it proportionate. So I'm just going to pull this, and I'm going to go a little bit farther than the bar. We're going to go right to the edge of, right to the edge of this one. And if I hold Shift and Alt, it will oh, it'll do it from the center, actually. Shift. Okay, yeah, sorry. And go like that. Okay. And then I'll say Enter when I'm done. Voila. And the picture's a little bit big, so I'm actually going to crop it. I'm just going to use my thing, the uh, marquee tool here. So I'm going to click and drag, and we'll delete that part. Okay. Uh, and then I'm just going to say that there would be articles underneath. Okay, um, so for that, I will do um, maybe the this color again. So I'm just going to, again, use the boxes, and I already have that, that color in there. So I'm just going to go underneath, and I'm going to draw, and we'll say each one is, my box said their total, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, that doesn't divide into 3 very easy. Uh... If I do two, that's a lot. So let's do, I guess we'll just do two five ones. So we'll do something like this. Yeah, we'll just do a fiver like that. And then I will do another one like this. Okay. Good. And just to make sure they're exactly the same size, because if you look right now, Sales is a little bit taller. I'm just going to go again back to this. Had it selected. I'm going to hit Control T. And. Oh, we're still in that picture. Oh, 
Oops, I should have switched layers for the under part. Oh, well. Um, yeah, it's good enough for now. Uh, and then I'm just going to put in dummy text for what I want it to say here. Okay, so for that, uh, I'm going to go to my te uh, text tool here. And it's got to go inside of this, okay? But I need dummy text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, and I'm going to go to um, Lipsum. So I think it's Lipsum.com. Might be a U. That was not what I was hoping for. Uh, Lipsum. Yeah, Lipsum.com. And I'm just going to go down here and say paragraphs, generate Laura Ipsum. And it's going to generate this garbage stuff for me. And it's going to take a long time. All right, that did great. Let's click on it again just to have fun with it. Okay. And I'm just going to grab, oops, grab like two paragraphs worth like this. I'm just going to control C back here. And I'm going to click in here. Okay. And then I'm going to change this to, let's say, 12 point font. And it should still be Arial. And we'll keep it black. Fine. Control V. And there's some stuff there, and I'm going to do um, the same thing over here. Just to duplicate it, if you hover over it and hold Alt, I can click, and then I'm going to hold Shift to keep it snapped. I'm going to bring it over here, okay? And then they need titles, so I'm going to again use this. And then I was using this pink for my titles, so I guess we'll just use that again. So I'm going to hit, uh, click on this, and then actually, oops. Uh, and I gotta change this first actually. So let's do TW and then bold and click on this and I'm just gonna type in the the hex code which was E eighty six O four E. Okay. Ah crap. It's starting to put it there. So we're gonna make a new layer first. There you go. And I'm just gonna do it this way instead. I'm gonna I click on that then hit um, T for the text tool, and it will use the color that's in the foreground instead of manually typing it. Okay. And then I'll just draw a thing in here, and we'll just say um, title. Oops, that's way too small. Let's make this bigger. Oops, not that one. This one, and do 30, and just say title. Okay. And then I'm just going to hold Alt and bring that over here that so now I have two of them um, and that's a sort of mock-up of a general thing but basically you just want to draw everything into these boxes and you want to keep the gutters free you can go across the gutter but you can't end in a gutter so what I mean by that is uh, if we take like let's say this one right and I free transform it I can't end it here okay it has to end here now I can end it all the way to the end here and I can end it here but you can't end it in any one of these inside pieces, okay? So it has to go all the way to the edge of each one of those. These are the gutters, so this little space in between, all right? Uh, but something like this should suffice, so I could put like a logo up there or something. This is just a real generic looking thing, but you get kind of the idea. Um, main thing to do is to make sure you create some sort of color scheme. And even though these colors aren't exactly the nicest looking, um, they all match. So create a color scheme, you know, write down what the hex codes are, decide on two fonts, one uh, like display font and one um, uh, paragraph style font, you know, for uh, blocks of text, which apparently I did this wrong. So you can see right here, I accidentally left that one as not good. I don't understand why. Yeah, that shouldn't be there. So let's take that and make sure that's Arial. Arial regular. There we go. I don't know why that got switched. Okay, uh, so you have two of these. Uh, you, you don't have to have two. You can lay it out however you want, but draw everything into boxes, basically, uh, and what you think the site would look like, and then put in dummy text. I mean, you can write stuff in here if you want, because then you can copy and paste it into your actual thing. Um, put in dummy images um, and that sort of thing, okay? So I would spend a lot more time on this. I'm just trying to give you a rough idea of how to do it. Uh, if you run into any problems or questions or anything like that, just uh, shoot me an email.